Shalom to those watching this video. I wanted to share with you the seriousness of hell and judgment. I hope you take heed to what's said and share this video with others. Mark 2:17. When Yahushua heard it, he said unto them, They that are whole have no need of the physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. With his message, I hope to touch not only those in the truth, but also those outside, regardless of race, religion, sexual preference, thieves, fornicators, idol or image worshippers, and any other sins you've committed, and of your own free will, I hope that you decide to choose life and not death, and turn from wrong and do right, for the things of this world are all temporary. The Apocalypse of Kepha or Peter Starting at paragraph 3 And he showed me in his right hand the souls of all people, and on the palm of his right hand the image of that which shall be accomplished at the last days, and how the righteous and the sinners shall be separated, and how those who are upright in heart will fare and how the evil doers shall be rooted out to all eternity. We beheld how the sinners wept in great affliction and sorrow until all who saw it with their eyes wept, whether righteous or angels, and he himself also. And I asked him and said to him, Master, allow me to speak your word concerning the sinners. It were better for them if they had not been created. And the Savior answered and said to me, Peter, why do you say that not to have been created were better for them? You resist Elohim. You would not have more compassion than he for his image, for he has created them and brought them forth out of not being. Now, because you have seen the lamentation which shall come upon the sinners in the last days. Therefore your heart is troubled, but I will show you their works whereby they have sinned against the Most High. Behold now what shall come upon them in the last days, when the day of Elohim and the day of the decision of judgment of Elohim comes. From the east to the west shall all the children of men be gathered together before my Father, who lives forever. And he shall command hell to open its bars of adamant, and give up all that is therein. And the wild beast and the fowl shall he command to restore all the flesh that they have devoured, because he wills that people should appear. For nothing perishes before Elohim, and nothing is impossible with him, because all things are his. For all things come to pass on the day of decision, on the day of judgment, at the word of Elohim. And as all things were done when he created the world, and commanded all that is therein, and it was done, even so shall it be in the last days. For all things are possible with Elohim. And therefore he said in the scripture, Son of man, prophesy upon the several bones and say to the bones, Bone unto bone and joint, sinew, nerves, flesh, and skin, and hair thereon. And soul and spirit shall the great Uriel give them at the commandment of Elohim. For Elohim has set him over the resurrection of the dead at the day of judgment. Behold and consider the corns of wheat that are sown in the earth. As something dry and without soul do men sow them in the earth. And they live again and bear fruit. And the earth restores them as a pledge entrusted to it. And this which dies that is sown as seed in the earth and shall become alive and be restored to life is man. How much more shall Elohim rise up on the day of decision those who believe in him 
and are chosen of him, for whose sake he made the world. And all things shall the earth restore on the day of decision, for it also shall be judged with them, and the heavens with it. And this shall come at the day of judgment upon those who have fallen away from the faith in Elohim, and have committed sin. Cataracts of fire shall be let loose, and darkness and obscurity shall come up and clothe and veil the whole world. And the waters shall be changed and turned into coals of fire, and all that is in them shall burn, and the sea shall become fire. Under the heavens there shall be a sharp fire that cannot be quenched, and it flows to fulfill the judgment of wrath, and the stars shall be melted by flames of fire, as if they had not been created, and the firmament of the heavens shall pass away for lack of water, and shall be as though they had not been. And the lightning of heaven shall be no more, and by their enchantment they shall affright the world. The spirits of the dead bodies shall be like them, and shall become fire at the commandment of Elohim. And as soon as the whole creation dissolves, the people who are in the east shall flee to the west, and those who are in the west to the east. Those in the south shall flee to the north, and those who are in the north to the south. And in all places shall the wrath of a fearful fire overtake them, and an unquenchable flaming driving them shall bring them to the judgment of wrath, to the stream of unquenchable fire, which flows flaming with fire. And when the waves thereof part themselves, one from another burning, there shall be great gnashing of teeth among the children of men. Then shall they all behold me coming upon an eternal cloud of brightness, and the angels of Elohim, who are with me shall sit upon the throne of my glory at the right hand of my heavenly Father, and he shall sit, set a crown upon my head. And when the nations behold it, they shall weep every nation for itself. Then shall he command them to enter into the river of fire, while the works of every one of them shall stand before them. Rewards shall be given to everyone according to his deeds. As for the elect who have done good, they shall come to me and not see death by the devouring fire. But the unrighteous, the sinners, and the hypocrites shall stand in the depths of darkness that shall not pass away. And their chastisement is the fire. And angels bring forward their sins and prepare for them a place wherein they shall be punished forever. Everyone according to his transgression. Uriel, the angel of Elohim, shall bring forth the souls of those sinners who perish in the flood, and of all who dwelt in all idols, and every molten image, and every object of love, and in pictures, and of those who dwelt on all hills and in stone, and by the wayside whom people called gods. They shall be burned with them in everlasting fire, and after all of them with their dwelling places are destroyed, they shall be punished eternally. Then shall men and women come to the place prepared for them by their tongues, wherewith they have blasphemed the way of righteousness. Shall they be hanged up? There is spread under them unquenchable fire, so that they do not escape it. Behold, another place there is a pit, great and full, in it are those who have denied righteousness, and angels of punishment chastise them, and there they kindle up them the fire of their torment. And again, behold, two women, they hang them up by their necks and by their hair. They shall cast them into the pit. These are those who plaited their hair, not to make themselves beautiful, but to turn them to fornication, that they might ensnare the souls of men to perdition, and the men who lay with them in fornication shall be hanged by their loins, that place of fire, and they shall say one to another, We did not know that we should come to everlasting punishment, and the murderers, and those who have made common cause with them shall they cast into the fire, 
and a place full of venomous beasts, and they shall be tormented without rest, filling their pains, and their worms shall be as many in number as a dark cloud, and the angel Israel shall bring forth the souls of those who have been slain, and they shall behold the torment of those who slew them, and say one to another, Righteousness and justice is the judgment of Allahim. For we heard, but we believe not that we should come into this place of eternal judgment. And near this flame there is a pit great and very deep, and into it flows from above all manners of torment, foulness, and excrement. And women are swallowed up therein up to their necks and tormented with great pain. These are they who have caused their children to be born untimely and have corrupted the work of Allahim who created them. Opposite them shall be another place where children sit alive and cry to Allahim, and flashes of lightning go forth from those children and pierce the eyes of those who, for fornication's sake, have caused their destruction. Other men and women shall stand above them naked, and their children stand opposite them in a place of delight, and sigh, and cry to Allahim because of their parents, saying, These are they who despised and cursed and transgressed your commandments and delivered us to death. They have cursed the angel that formed us and have hanged us up and begrudged us the light which you have given to all creatures. And the milk of their mothers flowing from their breasts shall congeal, and from it shall come beasts devouring flesh, which shall come forth and turn and torment them forever with their husbands, because they forsook the commandments of Elohim and slew their children. As for their children, they shall be delivered to the angel Timlachus, and those who slew them shall be tormented eternally. For Allahim wills it so. Israel, the angel of wrath, shall bring men and women with half of their bodies burning and cast them into a place of darkness, the hell of men. And a spirit of wrath shall chastise them with all manner of torment. And a worm that never sleeps shall devour their entrails. And these are the prosecutors and betrayers of my righteous ones. And besides those who are there shall be other men and women gnawing their tongues. And they shall torment them with red-hot irons and burn their eyes. These are they who slander and doubt my righteousness. Other men and women whose works were done in deceitfulness shall have their lips cut off. And fire enter into their mouth and their entrails. These are they who cause the murderers to die by their lies. They're lying. And besides them, in a place near a hand upon the stone shall be a pillar of fire, and the pillar is sharper than swords, and there shall be men and women clad in rags and filthy garments, and they shall be cast thereon to suffer the judgment of an unceasing torment. These are the ones who trust in their riches and despise the widows and the women with fatherless children before Allahim. And into another place nearby, full of filth, they cast men and women up to the knees. These are they who lent money and took usury. And other men and women cast themselves down for a high place and return again and run. The devils drive them. These are the worshippers of idols. And they drive them up to the top of the height and they cast themselves down. And this they do continually and are tormented forever. These are they who have cut their flesh as apostles of men, and the women with them. And these are the men who defiled themselves together as women. And besides them and beneath them shall be, shall the angel Israel prepare a place for much fire, and all the idols of gold and silver, all idols, the works of human hands, and the semblance of images of cats and lions, or creeping things, and wild beasts, and the men and the women that have prepared the images thereof shall be in change of fire, and shall be chastised because of their error before the idols, and this is their judgment forever. 
and besides them shall be other men and women burning in the fire of the judgment, and their torment is everlasting. These are they who have forsaken the commandments of Elohim and followed the persuasions of devils. And there shall be another place very high. The men and women whose feet slip shall go rolling down into a place where is fear. And again, while the fire that is prepared flows, they mount up and fall down again and continue to roll down. Thus shall they be tormented forever. These are they who honor not their father and mother and of their own accord withheld themselves from them. Therefore shall they be chastised eternally. Furthermore, the angel Israel shall bring children and maidens to show them those who are tormented. They shall be chastised with pains and hanging up, and with a multitude of wounds which flesh-devouring birds shall inflict upon them. These are they who trust in their sins and do not obey their parents, and do not follow the instructions of their fathers, and do not honor the more aged than they. Besides them shall be girls clad in darkness for a garment, and they shall be seriously punished, and their flesh shall be torn in pieces. These are they who did not preserve their virginity until they were given into marriage, and with these torments shall they be punished and shall fill them. And again, other men and women gnawing their tongues without ceasing and being tormented with everlasting fire. These are the servants who are not obedient to their masters, and this then is their judgment forever. And near by this place of torment shall be men and women who are dumb and blind and whose radiant is white. They shall crowd one upon another and fall upon coals of unquenchable fire. These are they who give alms and say, We are righteous before Allahim, whereas they have not sought after righteousness. Israel, the angel of Allahim, shall bring them forth out of this fire and establish a judgment of decision. This then is their judgment. A river of fire shall flow, and all those judged shall be drawn down into the middle of the river, and Uriel shall sit them there. And there are wheels of fire, and men and women hung thereon by the force of the whirling, and those in the pit shall burn. Now these are the sorcerers and sorceresses. Those wheels shall be in all decision by fire without number. Thereafter shall the angel bring my elect and righteous who are perfect in all uprightness and bear them in their hands and clothe them with the remnant of life that is above. They shall see their desires on those who hated them when he punishes them and the torment of everyone shall be forever according to his works. And all those in torment shall say with one voice, Have mercy upon us. For now we know the judgment of Elohim, which he declared to us before time, and we did not believe. And the angel, Tetericus, shall come and chastise them with even greater torment, and say to them, Now do you repent, when it is no longer the time for repentance, and nothing of life remains? And they shall say, Righteous is the judgment of Elohim, for we have heard and perceived that his judgment is good. For we are recompensed according to our deeds. Next, moving on to the Apocalypse of Paul. Paragraph 14. And I said to the angel, I wish to see the souls of the just and of sinners, and to see in what manner they go out of the body. And the angel answered and said to me, Look again upon the earth. And I looked and saw all the world, and people were as not, and growing weak. And I looked carefully, and saw a certain man about to die. And the angel said to me, This one whom you see is a just man. And I looked again, and saw all his works, whatever he had done for the sake of Elohim's name, and all his desires, both what he remembered and what he did not remember. They all stood in his sight in the hour of need. And I saw the just man advance and find refreshment and confidence, and before he went out of the world, the holy and the impious angels both attended, and I saw them all, but the impious found no place of habitation in him. But the holy angels took possession of his soul, guiding it till it went out of the body. 
and they rose the soul, saying, Soul, know the body you leave, for it is necessary that you should return to the same body on the day of the resurrection, that you may receive the things promised to all the just, receiving therefore the soul from the body. They immediately kissed as if it were familiar to them, saying to it, Be of good courage, for you have done the will of Elohim while placed on earth. And there came to meet it the angel who watched it every day and said to it, Be of good courage, so I rejoice in you, because you have done the will of Elohim on earth. For I related to Elohim all your works just as they were. Similarly, also the Spirit proceeds to meet it and said, So fear not, nor be disturbed until you come to a place which you have never known. But I will be a helper to you, for I found in you a place of refreshment. And the time when I dwelt in you while I was on earth, and his Spirit strengthened it, and his angel received it and led it into heaven. And an angel said, Where are you running to, O soul? And do you dare to enter heaven? Wait, and let's see if there is anything of ours in you. And behold, we find nothing in you. I see also your divine helper and angel, and the Spirit is rejoicing along with you, because you have done the will of Elohim on earth. And they led it along till it should worship in the sight of Elohim. And when it had ceased immediately, Michael and all the army of angels with one voice adored the footstool of his foot and his door, saying at the same time to the soul, This is your Elohim of all things who made you in his own image and likeness. Moreover, the angel ran on ahead and pointed him out, saying, Elohim, remember his labors, for this is the soul who worked are related to you, acting accordingly to your judgment. And the Spirit said, Likewise, I am the Spirit of vivification, inspiring it, for I had refreshment in it, in the time when I dwelt in it, acting according to your judgment. And there came the voice of Elohim and said, Inasmuch as this man did not grieve me, neither will I grieve him. As he had pity, I also will have pity. Let it therefore be handed over to Michael, the angel of the covenant, and let him lead it into the paradise of joy, that it may become co-heirs with all the saints. And after these things I heard the voice of a thousand thousand angels, and archangels, and cherubim, and twenty-four elders, saying hymns, and glorifying Yahuwah, and crying, you are just, O Master, and just are your judgments, and there is no respect of persons with you, but you reward everyone according to your judgment. And the angel answered and said to me, Have you believed and known that whatever each one of you has done, he sees in the hour of need? And I said, Yes, sir. And he said to me, Look again down on the earth and watch the souls of an impious man going out of the body, which grieve you day and night, saying, I know nothing else in this world. I eat and drink and enjoy what is in the world. For who is there who has descended into hell and ascending has declared to us that there is judgment there? And again, I looked carefully and saw all the scorn of the sinner and all that he did. And they stood together before him in the hour of need, and it was done to him in that hour when he was led out of his body at the judgment, and he said, It were better for me if I had not been born. And after these things there came at the same time the holy angels and the evil angels, and the soul of the sinner saw both, and the holy angels did not find a place in him. Moreover, the, an the evil angels cursed it, and when they had drawn it out of the body, the angels admonished it a third time, saying, O wretched soul, look upon your flesh from which you have come out, for it is necessary that you should return to your flesh in the day of resurrection, that you may receive what is due for your sins and your impieties. And when they had led it forth, the guardian angel preceded it and said to it, O wretched soul, I am the angel belonging to you, relating daily to Yahuwah your evil works, 
whatever you did by night or day. And if it were in my power, not for one day would I minister to you. But none of these things was I able to do. The judge is full of piety and just. And he himself commanded us that we should not cease to minister to the soul till you should repent. But you have lost the time of repentance. I have become a stranger to you and you to me. Let us go on then to the just judge. I will not dismiss you before I know from today I am to be a stranger to you. And the spirit afflicted it, and the angel troubled it. When they had arrived at the powers, when it started to enter heaven, a burden was imposed upon it. Above all other burdens, error and oblivion and murmuring met it, and the spirit of fornication and the rest of the powers, and said to it, Where are you going, wretched soul? And do you dare to rush into heaven? Hold that we may see if we have our qualities in you, since we do not see that you have a holy helper. And after that I heard voices in the height of heaven saying, Present, present that wretched soul to Elohim, so it may know that it is Elohim whom it despised. When therefore it had entered heaven, all the angels saw it. A thousand thousands exclaimed with one voice, all saying, Woe to you, wretched soul! For the sake of your works which you did on earth, what answer are you about to give to Elohim when you have approached to adore him? The angel who was with it answered and said, Weep with me, my beloved, for I have not found rest in this soul. And the angel answered him and said, Let such a soul be taken away from our midst. For from the time it entered the stink of its carcass to us angels, and after these things, it was presented that it might worship in the sight of Allahim. And an angel of Allahim showed it Allahim, who named it after his own image and likeness. Moreover, its angel ran before it, saying, Yahuwah, Almighty, I am the angel of this soul, whose work I presented to you day and night, not acting in accordance with your judgment. And the Spirit likewise said, I am the Spirit who dwelt in it from the time it was made. In it itself I know it, and it has not followed my will. Judge it, Master, according to your judgment. And there came the voice of Elohim to it and said, Where is your fruit which you have made worthy of the goods which you have received? Have I put a distance of one day between you and the just person? Did I not make the sun to arise upon you as upon the just? But the soul was silent, having nothing to answer. And again, there came a voice saying, Just is the judgment of Elohim, and there is no respect to persons with Elohim. For whoever shall have done mercy on him shall have mercy, and whoever shall not have been mercy, neither shall Elohim pity him. Let it therefore be handed over to the angel Tartakus, who is set over the punishment, and let him cast it into the outer darkness, where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth, and let it be there till the great day of judgment. And after these things I heard the voice of angels and archangels saying, You are just, Master, and your judgment is just. And again I saw and beheld a soul which was led forward by two angels, weeping and saying, Have pity on me, just Elohim, Elohim the judge. For today it is seven days since I went out of my body, and I was handed over to these two angels, and they brought me to this place which I have never seen. And Elohim the just judge said to it, What have you done? For you have never showed mercy, therefore you were handed over to such angels as have no mercy, and because you did no right, so neither did they act compassionately with you in your hour of need. Confess your sins which you have committed when placed in the world, and it answered and said, Master, I did not sin, and Yahuwah, the just master, was enraged in fury when it said, I did not sin, because it lied. And Elohim said, Do you think you are still in the world? where any one of you sinning may conceal and hide his sin from his neighbor. 
Here nothing whatever shall be hidden. For when the soul comes to worship in sight of the throne, both the good works and the sin of each one are made manifest. And hearing these things, the soul was silent, having no answer. And I heard Yahuwah Elohim, the just judge, again saying, Come, angel of this soul, and stand in the midst. And the angel of the sinful soul came, having in its hand a document, and said, These, master, in my hand are all the sins of this soul from its youth till today, from the tenth year of its birth. And if you command, Master, I will also relate its acts from the beginning of its fifteenth year. And Yahuwah Elohim, the just judge, said, I say to you, angel, I do not expect of you an account of it since it began to be fifteen years old, but state its sins for five years before it died and before it came hither. And again, Allahim, the just judge, said, For by myself I swear, and by my holy angels, and by my virtue, that if it had repented five years before it died on account of a conversation one year old, oblivion would now be thrown over all the evils which it sinned before, and it would have indulgence and remission of sin. Now indeed it shall perish. And the angel of the sinful soul answered and said, Master, command that the angel to exhibit those angels. And in the same hour the souls were exhibited, and the midst of the soul of the sinner knew them. And Yahuwah said to the soul of the sinner, I say to you, soul, confess your work which you wrought in these souls whom you see when they were in the world, and it answered and said, Master, it is not yet a full year since I slew this one and poured his blood upon the ground, and with another I committed fornication. Not only this, but I also greatly harmed her in taking away her goods. And Yahuwah Elohim, the just judge, said, Did you not know that if someone does violence to another and the person who sustains the violence dies first, he is kept in this place until the one who was committed the offense dies, and then both stand in the presence of the judge, and now each receive according to his deed. And I heard a voice of one saying, Let that soul be delivered into the hand of Tartus, and led down into hell. He shall lead it into the lower prison, and it shall be put to torment, and left there till the great day of judgment. And again, I heard a thousand, thousand angels singing hymns to Yahuwah and crying, You are just, O Master, and just are your judgments. The angel answered and said to me, Have you perceived all these things? And I said, Yes, sir. And he said to me, Follow me again, and I will take you and show you the places of the just. And I followed the angel, and he raised me to the third heaven, and placed me at the entry of the door, and looking, I saw that door was of gold, and two columns of gold, above it full of golden letters. And the angel turned again to me and said, Blessed are you if you enter through these doors, for it is not permitted for any to enter except those who have goodness and purity of body in all things. And I looked around upon the land, and I saw a river flowing with milk and honey, and there were trees planted by the bank of that river full of fruit. Moreover, each single tree bore twelve fruits in the year, having various and diverse fruits. And I saw the created things which are in that place in all the works of Elohim. And I saw their palms of twenty cubics, but others of ten cubics. And the land was seven times brighter than silver. And there were trees full of fruit from the root to the highest branch of 10,000 fruits of palms upon 10,000 fruits. The grape vines had 10,000 plants. Moreover, in the single vines, there were 10,000 thousand branches, and in each of these, a thousand single grapes. Moreover, these single trees bore a thousand fruits. And I said to the angel, Why does each tree bear a thousand fruits? 
the angel answered and said to me, Because Yahuwah Allahim gives an adorning profusion of gifts to the worthy, and because they of their own will afflicted themselves when they were placed in the world, doing all things on account of his holy name. And again I said to the angel, Sir, are these the only promises which the Most High Allahim makes? And he answered and said to me, No, there are seven times greater than these. But I say to you that when you just go out of the body, they shall see the promise, promises and the good things which Allahim has prepared for them. So then they shall sigh and lament, saying, Have we uttered any word from our mouths to grieve our neighbor even on one day? I asked and said again, Are these alone the promises of Allahim? And the an angel answered and said to me, These whom you know see are the souls of the married and those who kept the chastity of their naptails, controlling themselves. But to the virgins and those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, and those afflicted themselves for the sake of Al for the name of Allahim, Allahim will give seven times greater than these, which I shall show you now. Again he led me where there is a river of milk, and I saw in that place all the infants whom Herod slew, because of the name of Mashiach, and they greeted me, and the angel said to me, All who kept their chastity and purity when they have come out of the body after they adore Yahuwah Elohim are delivered to Michael and are led to the infants, and they greet them, saying that they are our brothers and friends and members. Among them they shall inherit the promise of Elohim. Again he took me up and brought me to the north of the city and led me where there was a river of wine, and there I saw Abraham, Yitzhak, and Jacob, Lot, and Job, and other saints, and they greeted me, and I asked and said, what is this place, my master? The angel answered and said to me, All who have given hospitality to strangers when they go out of the world first adore Yahuwah Elohim and are delivered to Michael and by this route are led into the city and all the just greet them as son and brother and say to them, Because you have observed humanity and helped pilgrims come, have an inheritance in the city of Yahuwah our Elohim. Every righteous person shall receive good things of Elohim in the city according to his own action. And again he carried me near the river of oil on the east of the city, and I saw their men rejoicing and singing psalms. And I said, Who are those, my master? And the angel said to me, These are they who devoted themselves to Elohim with their whole heart, and had no pride in themselves. For all those who rejoice in Yahuwah Elohim and sang psalms to Yahuwah with their whole heart are here led into this city. When he had ceased speaking to me, he led me outside the city through the midst of the trees, far from the place of the land of the good, and put me across the river of milk and honey. And after that, he led me over the ocean which supports the foundations of heaven. The angel answered and said to me, Do you understand why you go hence? And I said, Yes, sir. And he said to me, Come and follow me, and I will show you the souls of the godless and sinners, that you may know what manner of place it is. And I went with the angel, and he carried me towards the setting of the sun, and I saw the beginning of heaven founded on a great river of water. And I asked, What is this river of water? And he said to me, This is the ocean which surrounds all the earth. And when I was at the outer limit of the ocean, I looked, and there was no light in that place but darkness and sorrow and sadness, and I sighed. And I saw there a river boiling with fire, and in it a multitude of men and women immersed up to the knees, and other men up to the navel, others even up to the lips others up to the hair. And I asked the angel and said, Sir, who are those in the fiery river? And the angel answered and said to me, They are neither hot nor cold, because they were found neither in the number of the just nor in the number of the godless. For those spent 
the time of their lives on earth passing some days in prayer, but others in sin and fornication until their death. And I asked him and said, Who are these, sir, immersed up to their knees in fire? He answered and said to me, These are those who, when they had gone out of church, occupy themselves with idle disputes. Those who are immersed up to the navel are those when they have taken the body and blood of Mashiach, go and fornicate, and do not cease from their sins till they die. Those who are immersed up to the lips are those who slander each other when they assemble in the church of Allahim. Those up to the eyelids are those who nod to each other and plot spite against their neighbor. And I saw to the north a place of various and diverse punishment, full of men and women, and a river of fire ran down into it. I observed and I saw very deep pits, and in them several souls together. And the depth of that place was about three thousand cubics, and I saw them groaning and weeping and saying, Have pity on us, O Master, and no one had pity on them. And I asked the angel and said, Who are these, sir? And the angel answered and said to me, These are they who did not have hope in the Master, that they would be able to have him as their helper. And I asked and said, Sir, if these souls remain for thirty or forty generations thus one upon another, I believe the pit would not hold them unless they were dug deeper. He said to me, The abyss has no measure, for beneath it, there stretches down below that which is below it. And so it is that if, perchance, anyone should take a stone and throw it into a very deep well, after many hours it would reach the bottom, such is the abyss. For when the souls are thrown in there, they hardly reach the bottom in fifty years. When I heard this, I wept and groaned over the human race. The angel answered and said to me, Why do you weep? Are you more merciful than Allahim? For though Allahim is good, he knows that there are punishments, and he patiently bears with the human race, allowing each one to do his own will and the time in which he dwells on the earth. I observed the fiery river and saw there a man being tortured by torture-chained angels, having in their hands an iron instrument with three hooks, and with each they pierced the bowels of the old man. And I asked the angel and said, Sir, who is that old man on whom such torment are imposed? And the angel answered and said to me, He whom you see was a resembler who did not perform his ministry well. When he had been eating and drinking and committing fornication, he offered the host to Yahuwah as his holy altar. And I saw not far away another old man, led on by evil angels running with speed, and they pushed him into the fire up to his knees, and they struck him with the stones and wounded his face like a storm, and did not allow him to say, Have pity on me. And I asked the angel, and he said to me, He whom you see was a bishop, and did not perform his espicots well, who indeed accepted the great name but did not enter into the witness of him who gave him the name all his life, seeing that he did not give judgment and did not pity widows and orphans, but now he receives retribution according to his, ine his inequity and his works. And I saw another man in the fiery river up to his knees. His hands were stretched out and bloody, and worms proceeded from his mouth and nostrils, and he was groaning and weeping and crying. He said, Have pity on me, for I am hurt more than the rest who are in punishment. And I asked, Sir, Who is this? And he said to me, This man whom you see was a deacon who devoured the oblations and committed fornication and did not do right in the sight of Allahim. For this cause, he unceasingly pays this penalty. And I looked closely and saw alongside of him another man whom they delivered up with haste and cast into the fiery river, and he was in it up to his knees. And the angel 
who was set over the punishment came with the great fiery razor, and with it he cut the lips of that man, and the tongue likewise. And sighing, I lamented and asked, Who is that, sir? And he said to me, He whom you see was a reader and read to the people, but he himself did not keep the precepts of Allahim. Now he also pays the proper penalty. And I saw another multitude of pits in the same place, and in the midst of it a river full with a multitude of men and women, and worms consumed them. But I lamented, and sighing asked the angel, and said, Sir, who are these? And he said to me, These are those who exacted interest on interest, and trusted in their riches, and did not hope in Allahim that he was their helper. And after that I looked and saw another place, very narrow, and it was like a wall and fire round about it. And I saw inside men and women gnawing their tongues, and I asked, Sir, who are these? And he said to me, These are they who in church disparaged the word of Allahim, not attending to it, but as it were, making not of Allahim and his angels. For that reason, they now likewise pay the proper penalty. And I observed and saw another pool in the pit, and its appearance was like blood. And I asked and said, Sir, what is this place? And he said to me, Into that pit streams all the punishments. And I saw men and women immersed up to the lips. And I asked, Sir, who are these? And he said to me, These are the magicians who prepared for men and women evil magic arts and did not cease till they died. And again I saw men and women with very black faces in the pit of fire, and I sighed and lamented and asked, Sir, who are these? And he said to me, These are fornicators and adulterers who committed adultery, having wives of their own. Likewise, also the women committed adultery, having husbands of their own. Therefore, they unceasingly suffer penalties. And I saw their girls in black remnant and four terrifying angels having in their hands burning chains, and they put them on their necks of the girls and led them into darkness. And I again, weeping, asked the angel, Who are these? And he said to me, These are they who, when they were virgins, defiled their virginity unknown to their parents, for which cause they unceasingly pay the proper penalty. And again I observed their men and women, with their hands cut and their feet placed naked in a place of ice and snow, and worms devoured them. Seeing them, I lamented and asked, Sir, who are these? And he said to me, These are they who harmed orphans and widows and the poor and did not hope in Yahuwah, for which cause they unceasingly pay the penalty. And I observed and saw other hanging over a channel of water, and their tongues were very dry, and many fruits were placed in their sight, and they were not permitted to take of them. And I asked, Sir, who are these? And he said to me, These are they who broke their fast before the appointed hour. For this cause they unceasingly paid these penalties, and I saw other men and women hanging by their eyebrows and their hair, and a fiery river drew them. And I said, Who are these, Sir? And he said to me, These are they who join themselves, not to their own husbands and wives, but to whores, and therefore they unceasingly pay the proper penalty. And I saw other men and women covered with dust, and their consonance was like blood, and they were in a pit of pitch and sulfur, running into a fiery river. And I asked, Sir, Who are these? And he said to me, These are they who committed the inequity of Sodom and Gomorrah, the male with the male, for which reason they unceasingly pay the penalty. Yehaskel or Ezekiel 18, 21-23 But if the wicked will turn from all his sins that he has committed and keep all my statutes and do that which is lawful and right, he shall surely live, he shall not die. All his transgressions that he has committed, they shall not be remembered against him. In his righteousness that he has done, he shall live. 
Have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die? Says Yahuwah, and not that he should turn from his ways and live? Our Heavenly Father wishes for all to be saved. He doesn't take pleasure in the death of the wicked, but would much rather we repent and turn away from our sins. The penalty of sin is death, and we are all guilty, but through Yehusha HaMashiach, he paid the price for our sins and gave us a chance with his own blood being perfect. At this moment, I hope you've been touched and want to change your life around. Understand, this isn't something that happens overnight, but something we work towards every day. In your own words, simply pray to our Heavenly Father. Confess your sins and the lifestyle you've been living. Repent of those things. Turn from them and ask for our Savior to come into your life. Keep the commandments and become baptized and receive the Holy Spirit. This all according to your own free will. All glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahuwah, and our Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach. Amen.